happen to you? What does it take? Dr. Mark Alberts, the chief of neurology with Hartford HealthCare, is joining us right now to talk more about it. Doctor, good to see you again. You know, we heard this last night in the newsroom, and it's so upsetting to think that someone perhaps just simply bumps their head, thinks they're okay, and goes to sleep. What happened here? Well, it's very unclear, Mark, what the full story is, but what happened allegedly would be distinctly unusual for a with a minor bump on the head to go to sleep and not wake up. And I'm really anxious to see what further details are. Did he have an underlying blood condition that made him more susceptible to perhaps bleeding in the brain? Or was he taking some medication, so-called blood thinners, that could have turned a, mi a minor sort of head injury into something catastrophic? Those are details that we still need to learn. Because correct me if I'm wrong, doctor, you can hit your head, right? And then have some bleeding happening underneath that we wouldn't necessarily know about, right? You can, but usually it has to be sort of major head trauma, like in a car accident or a fall from a height down several flights of stairs. To just get a simple bump in the head and then pass away like he apparently did, you almost have to think that there could have been something else going on besides just bad luck. That's a very good point right there. If someone does hit their head, though, what do you recommend? What should people do? Well, there's all different types of hitting your head, right? Were you in a major car accident and you went, hit, hit your head on the windshield after going 60 miles an hour? That would require a visit to the emergency room. But just a minor bump on the head like happens to all of us in routine life. Some of the warning things I would look for besides being on a blood thinner, which, is, which in and of itself would increase the risk, would be a really bad headache that's getting worse change in your level of consciousness, like you're becoming very sleepy, trouble with slurred speech, weakness or numbness on one side of the body, or nausea or vomiting. Those are all warning signs that this could have been more than a minor bump on the head. Yeah, those are all very serious symptoms right there that someone would, would have. You know, we all bump our heads. We do things all the time. And, and we don't want to go to the hospital. You don't want to go to the ER, especially right now with COVID. But when would you recommend, I guess I would say, when they have those serious symptoms, you would say you need to get some help, right? Absolutely. If you have those serious symptoms and our ED at Hartford Hospital is well staffed 24 hours a day, seven days a week to screen all of these patients. But again, we also look for other risk factors like a history of some blood disorder or especially being on blood thinners. That's a red flag. Dr. Mark Alberts, always good to see you. We appreciate your time. Thank you, Mark.